4,790 pounds. We've got a Summerland 26 foot no slide bunkhouse here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Everybody and their brother makes a version of a floor plan like this and they're all very popular for very good reason. You get that front pass through storage and it, it's just a no nonsense floor plan. Without a slide out, it is very affordable and being pre-owned, this will be even more affordable. Actually, this is a, a one owner originally sold right here at Halet RV. When they were ready to upgrade, we were the place they came back to. So I should give you an indication of the, the level of um, confidence people have when they purchase from Halet RV. Looks like they did upgrade to a power tongue jack on the front here after this was built, because this certainly did not include it that way from the factory. I, I've been a very big fan of the Springdale and its little brother here, Summerland Families, for a long time for the simple reason that when we sell them as a dealership, they stay in your driveway as a customer and they don't come back to us for work. And I don't know what more you could want out of it. Now we've got tinted windows to keep it cool inside, outside uh, uh, shower, so you can hose the kids off and do some utility cleanups. We do have outside speakers, you know, for entertainment's sake, full-size air, self-enclosed, you know, uh, uh, or fully enclosed, um, what am I wanting to say here? Not hard, uh, hybrid or nothing like that, but you can sleep uh, plenty of plenty of people in here. This is it's a, just a great no nonsense camper. Um, I do like all the windows they added to this. Actually, that's a significant mo money investment in this brand new. Look at that original decal right there. Halitrv.com. Check that out. Now, um, in the living area, bathroom, bunk areas, this is carpetless. Uh, so it is easy cleaning. And speaking of cleaning, whoever owned this knew. Ex I mean, they knew how to take care of an RV. It is freaking spotless in here it is absolutely in just ace top condition you can see everything is gleaming shining i i'm not sure what they purchased i believe they upgraded to a giant two slide 35 foot bunkhouse with outside kitchen here at haylet rv but uh i tell you what if they take care of that the way they took care of this i am begging them to come back and be the dealership where they swap that thing out because you, you beg for used RVs to be in this kind of condition. This is fantastic. Um, it's, it's an everything you need, nothing you don't floor plan. I love that big window right there. That big window right when you walk in just says welcome home. It also makes the whole camper feel lighter and brighter. But they also included that extra cabinet overhead right there. And every ounce of space counts. Every ounce of storage counts for sure. This is when they first started switching over that giant farmhouse sink. So you do have that big base in there. You can actually get big pots and pans and clean. Or if you got like a little baby, it's actually easy to give a baby a bath in one of those. So your dinette and your sofa can both fold down into sleepers. And I got a feeling that other than sleeping in this RV, they didn't use it a lot because I mean, you can look at this sofa. You can see that they didn't sit in it a lot. They didn't break down the memory foam a lot. The cushions are not frayed and torn up. The table's not scarred like uh, they accidentally, you know, dug a fork into it or something. Or like, you know when you're cutting food and your knife gets away from you and you hear that big screech? Well, they obviously didn't have that happen and dig up the table. There's no scars on the wall where they were monkeying with a flat screen or anything. This is in absolute, absolute ace condition. These bunks looked like i'm wondering if they even use this like a bunkhouse maybe they didn't buy the big bunkhouse i was thinking because i mean it looks like nobody slept back here the whole camper looks like it was kept in a time capsule uh, i mean you can see where it's been stored outside but there's no leaks i don't see any problems with you know decals fading or anything like that that's something keystone was known for in years past but they have since uh corrected they now use some of the uh the biggest heaviest most expensive decals in the industry so that their products stay good looking up front here behind this partial privacy wall we do have uh the easy walk around queen bed this is the only thing in the entire rv that shows any level of use uh, I don't even know how well it's showing up on camera, but to the naked eye, you can see where just their bodies had laid on it for quite some time. So I'm going to guess that the people who own this RV, they were people who spent most of their time outside. They walked in, went to bed, and then they got up and walked out the door. Because that appears to be the only use this RV has had. Um, yeah, no, this is, this is sharp. This is someone. This will be gone in less than two weeks. If if this ain't gone in uh, two weeks, then we have failed as a dealership. Uh, Eight hundred two fifty six fifty one ninety six. Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care. Stay safe. Have fun. And uh, just know that this is not the one where you're inheriting someone's problems. Not not by far.